Okay, super. All right, good morning, everybody. So now uh, we've, we've seen uh, where in Sri Lanka you live. I'm going to show you uh, briefly where we are. This is Missoula, Montana. I'll click on the, the Google Earth. This is sort of a, uh, a small picture of, of, we are, of where we are. I am just right in this little valley. So you can see uh, where I live is in this little uh, green valley in the, in the northeast part of town. And if we zoom out, we can also see that uh, where we live in Missoula is also sort of in the, the green portion here. There's a, we, we sit uh, just, just west of the Continental Divide. So all of these uh, that you see here are the Rocky Mountains. And so, therefore, a lot of what you see to the west is green because all of the, the rain uh, stays there. John, uh, John Bailey is closer here. He's out further out in uh, the middle of Montana. Okay, and now I just want to show you a few things about my program. This is a, a picture of me a few years ago, and these are my students who built uh, a solar car. Have have you ever seen a solar car before? Have you I doubt it. Okay, so this car is is actually powered by solar panels. And have you have you seen solar panels yet? Have you, have you seen these 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 solar panels yet, or is this also new? You know the uh, water park yeah. next to Grace. That, those, they have solar panels there at the water park. So next time you're walking um, uh, north, the next building to your north has solar power on top. Next time, please go look for that. Cool. Thanks. So what, I, what, we, can, what we can see here, though, is this, this car runs 100% on electricity. So we're able to actually make this little car move just with sunlight. So it has... It has a charge controller, which you'll learn about. It has batteries, and uh, I can share some some more videos with you on how that uh, on how that works. So one thing I want to do is is jump into um, is just jump into energy a little bit. Is that uh, probably a good place to start, John? In, in terms of just definitions of energy, or do you want to do a few other things first, or? Um. I'd like to hear from the girls and let, if that's okay, just to sort of see how they uh, felt about the reading and some of the material, and oh, just yeah. Start see how question. how familiar they are with what we've what we've started so far. Okay, that sounds great. Girls, did you get a chance to to do some of the reading and watch some of the lectures? And do you have a pretty good understanding of what what we're talking about here? Jesse. Can you hear me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the connection's working out all of a sudden. Okay. Uh, they're mo Jesse, can you hear me? Grace, girls. It looks a little slow. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, I, like I, I can see them. I can see them moving, but not very fast. Yeah, I can't see them moving now. Okay. Okay, I'll just pause for a second here. So, um, ladies, since the since the connection is um, is not very good right now, I'll just I'll just kind of go as long as I can with this. And what I'm what I'm going to do uh, this this will not be very interactive. I apologize, but what I'm going to do is just share my screen with you, and share a few. Uh, broader concepts. Does that, does that sound good? So there's a few uh, concepts that I usually try to start with that uh, will sort of get the, you know, get the ball rolling, so to speak, get your mind thinking about uh, renewable energy. So does, does that sound good? Yeah, I'm not sure you can hear me that well. So um, this video that I'm going to give, uh, what, I, what I would like you to do is just watch it and then send me back either a, a video response or you can also just send an email response back. So I'm just going to, this will just unfortunately be more one-way 
you know, from me to you, but this is just an intro to some of the, the key concepts that we're going to cover as we go through the course. So here we go, and I'm going to go for about uh, 20 minutes or so. It's um, 8, 8.30 my time, so I'm going to show my screen again. Okay. Yeah, and and I I heard that you said something, but I couldn't hear uh, exactly what you said. So can can you see my um, can you see this screen? Is it a blank a blank white screen now? Yeah, screen loading now. Okay. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm just sharing my, um, I'm just sharing my my screen. So this is my my notepad, and there are a few things that I want to just start with, and it's just it's going to be fairly technical, but I want to make sure that we understand these things uh, right off the bat before we get started. So the first one I want to I want to talk about is uh, power uh, versus energy and so yeah so power versus energy and this is going to be <clears throat> this is going to be critical to all of our energy calculations as we uh, become energy technologists so the the equation that I'd like you to know is that energy energy equals power times time so that's our that's our main equation energy equals power times time or e equals p t like that so energy equals p t or uh, p equals e divided by T. Okay, and then over here we know that when we when we measure energy we have joules equals watts times seconds or um, one joule equals one watt second so that's uh, that's this guy right here energy is power times time energy is measured in joules and it's a watt times a second so that's the first uh, first thing to know or down here we can say that uh, watts equals joules divided by seconds or you can say one watt equals one joule divided by one second so that's the this it's the same equation just written a different way So this is called the this is called the power equation. So that's the power equation. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's very important. So that's one way to do power. Now the next the next thing we'll cover is how that matters in electricity yeah. 
That was very that was very good and this is this is um, one of the most important uh, slides so let me go to the to the next slide let me go to the next slide okay so um, so power this is going to be electrical power So, one watt equals one volt times one ampere, or one watt equals one VA. And and I'll show you I'll show you a picture of how this uh, of how this works. So, if I have a uh, if I have my solar panel here, the solar panel may be uh, let's just say three hundred watts, and it might be um, between here. And here might be 60 volts, and then it comes through. Here's your um, light bulb. Sixty volts. So. In this case, um, power equals 300 watts. Uh, voltage equals 60 volts. This is between plus and minus 60 volts. And then the current This is the, the amperage. So the amperage equals 5 amps. So 60, 60 volts, which is this part, times 5 amps equals 300 watts. So Voltage times current equals power. Right? Okay. Good. Okay. Very good. Um, so that's that's also that's also very important. Now, if we want to go, if we want to do energy, we'll go like this. Energy. If we have on the house, yeah, 
Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, so the next one we'll do um, electrical energy. So if we have, uh, so remember our first equation is that um, energy equals power times time. Now let's just say we have one solar panel. Very simple at first. And this is um, 300 watts. And we have the sun. And let's say the, the sun goes for, so here's AM. Here's PM. So the, as the sun moves across the sky, let's say this is, oh gosh, maybe, maybe uh, eight hours total. Eight hours from morning to night. So again, energy equals power times time. So uh, we know that the power equals 300 watts. We know the time equals eight hours. So energy equals 300 watts times eight hours equals 2,400 watt hours equals 2.4 kilowatt hours. So that's the uh, total energy. So, so this is total energy for one one day. And what we assume is that the, again, this is our solar panel on the roof. And it has 300 watts, just like in the previous example. So this is just one, one solar panel here. One solar panel. So we take that solar panel, we put it on the roof. And then the sun, let me see here, tools. So there's the sun in the morning. Here's the sun at night. And the, 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 the total amount of time that we have the sun is, is for eight hours. So in the morning all the way to 
tonight, let's just say 8 p.m., the sun goes down, um, this, this power, or the total energy we get by multiplying the power, which is here, times the time, so the power again equals 300 watts, the time equals 8 hours, so to get the energy, to get the energy we multiply power times time, 300 watts times 8 hours equals 2,400 watt hours. And so this is the same as 2.4 kilowatt hours. So kilo, kilo equals 1,000. Kilo equals 1,000. That's how we get from... 2,400 uh, watt hours to 2.4 kilowatt hours in one day. Okay? And that's, so that's the energy. So previously what we did, so just to review, we've done, we've done power. Power versus energy. And one way to think of it is power is how, how quickly it, it moves and how and energy is how much you have. And then we did one uh, electrical example and we said that power is voltage times current. And now we want to move from electrical power into electrical energy. So we start with that 300 watt solar panel Again, this is the uh, this is the solar panel right here. And then we take the solar panel, uh, put it on the roof. And now we can calculate the electrical energy. Okay? So now do you want to do you want to explain now? Okay. I'll keep going then. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Yeah. So now we can go from, um, I want to go from kilowatt hours. Oh, can I hear it? Say one more time. What? Oh, you're having trouble hearing. Well, I'll um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I got I'll do one more slide and then we can ask questions later. Sorry, the the connection's not very good. So I'm gonna do one more uh, one more slide. So I'm gonna go from kilowatt hours to um, to joules. So let's go, let's do that. Uh, kilowatt hours to megajoules. So here we see on the screen that um, one kilowatt hour is three megajoules. So we'll just do that math quickly. So um, one kilowatt hour is three megajoules. So if we start here and we say that we have 2,400 kilowatt hours. We can then uh, multiply that. So we go back here, one kilowatt hour is 3.6 megajoules. Sorry, let me change that. Yeah, so 2.4. So 2.4 times 3.6. So 
four times three point six equals eight point six four. Eight point six four megajoules. Okay. And this is a um, this eight point six uh, eight point six four megajoules is is an important um, it's a very important number because if that's about the amount of energy so if you have one person um, and that's about the amount of, of energy that one person eats in one day so that's your um, your energy per person per day equals about um, 8 to 10 uh, megajoules. So what I'm what I'm showing you here is that you can you can estimate you can go from electrical energy. So we can see this is electrical energy from our technology, and it's, but it's also uh, you can also look at it in terms of food. And we know it's about 8 to 10 megajoules. So you could call this food energy. Or uh, chemical energy. So that's what I, that's what I really like about... Uh, studying energy is that you can you can do a lot of translation between electrical versus chemical and another thing to note is this is about um, about 2,000 calories so we can also go back here let's say um, Let's go to megajoules and say 8 megajoules. And we want to go here, go to calories. So 8 megajoules, let's do 8.5. 8 so 8.5 megajoules is about 2,000 calories. So now we, what we've shown is that we can go from um, electrical into chemical energy. So that's all I have for today. Uh, just to review, we started with uh, the power equation. That's what this whole thing is. This is the power equation. And we know that uh, energy is power times time. That's very, very, very important. I can't tell you how important that is. Also, you can rewrite it as power equals energy divided by time. We know that the units of energy are joules. The units of power are watts. And the units of time are seconds. So we know, if we want to know power, we divide joules by seconds, like so. Or if we want to know energy, we multiply watts times seconds. Then what we did was electrical power. We said that one watt is one volt times one ampere. We did a very simple calculation for a 300-watt panel. 300 watts at 60 volts, you have 5 amps of power. And so, again, volts times amps is power. And this would be to 
say, light a light bulb. Okay. And then we did electrical energy. And again, we used our same equation. We said that energy equals power times time, 300 watts times 8 hours equals 2,400 watt hours equals 2.4 kilowatt hours. And we did that for one day. It's just one day. And the one day was 8 hours long. And then we did a energy conversion. Energy conversion, kilowatt hours to joules. And we did that over here. Uh, kilowatt hour, 2.4. And we convert it to megajoules. So 2.4 is 8.6 megajoules. There we go. And we also said that we can, we can also look at energy this way, and we can say that 8.6 megajoules is about 2,000 calories that you would uh, eat in one day. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry I, I couldn't hear you very well today, but hopefully you can hear me, and then um, I'm going to stop the video now. We'll have a, um, I'll send you the link to the YouTube so you can watch it, John can watch it, and then what I'd also like you to do is, is send some emails to me. So let me go back into my Skype. Uh, tools, view. Full screen call. Stop sharing screen. View. Okay. So maybe you can see my face now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, ladies, um, thank thank you very much. I'll I will send the send the link and we'll uh, we'll be in touch with the uh, the the next lesson. So I. I'll look, I'll look for your questions. Send, send me some questions via email. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh.